everybody, it's Mindy at Bayside Corals and I'm here with our Red Sea Reefer 250. Today let's take a look at the auto top off system on the Red Sea Reefer. So we've had a couple customers with issues where the water is not draining from the auto top off container into the sump tank, which is caused by a blockage in the hose usually or the float valve. So I'll show you how you can take this apart and fix it. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the actual auto top off canister so that it's easier to access the float valve in the back. Pull the longer hose off the bottom of the white valve. You'll notice that causes water to drain out of the top tank. Close the white valve clockwise and that will stop the flow from the top tank. You can then remove the tank. Make sure there isn't very much water in it. Otherwise, you might accidentally drop it. Now you can see you're left with the long hose in here. It's connected to a connector down in the bottom. You can just simply start to unscrew the hose. There, it's come off now. Now the float valve has a nut on that plate you can see. If you unscrew that, then the float valve will be able to come out. Now what we can do, we'll take this hose and blow through it. Should be able to blow through that one very easily. So that's not plugged. When it's hanging in there and it's down, that's when the water should be allowed to go through. So you should be able to blow through it when you hold it in this position. I can't. Ours isn't plugged, but if yours is plugged, it may be plugged in this small hole in the end here. Now the easiest way to clean that out is with a little pin or you can even try flushing it under the tap to get it to open up. If the hose is plugged, you can use something small like a skewer to go in there and try and tap whatever out or you can try rinsing it under the tap as well. What I found is the problem is usually with this little hole in the end here, we'll have a little piece of fuzz or a chunk of sand or something stuck in it. So once you get that cleaned out, rinse it out real well under the tap, you can go ahead and install it all again. Once that is all together, you can put your top-off container back in. Open the valve that comes out of the container to make sure that there is water flow. There you go, you can see there's water coming out. So now I'll go ahead and hook the hose back up. Just make sure it's on there nice and snug. And that's how you clean out the auto top-off hose. Hey, <laughs>